today's local and national news from Thailand via the fabulous Patia Media Group. And if you'd be kind enough to like and subscribe, here's a tip for you to get the very latest news from us every day. When you subscribe, click on the button that says All. And then every day you'll get an update straight from us. Fourteen police officers face charges of dereliction of duty after being in attendance at the Nakhon Patong party where a fellow officer was killed and another injured after they refused to promote a relative of a local headsman. Thailand's Deputy National Police Chief relayed this news to the media, listing those involved as from station chiefs down in rank. The biggest issue appears to be that statements given by those in attendance vary considerably from the evidence now recovered from CCTV recordings that the headsman and his cohorts had thought had been destroyed. Thailand's new Prime Minister has told the press that the minimum 400 baht a day wage for all is expected to be in place as law by the end of the year. This, as electric rates are set to drop too for both businesses and domestic accounts. The government has also committed to a taxin-style promise to rid the nation of its narcotics business, breaking first the methamphetamine business within the next 12 months, but also working on the rest. Taxin in his heyday also implemented a total anti-drugs policy which was successful, but did come at a cost. We're told that the coalition is in agreement that a massive crackdown on meth routes, often from one neighbouring country to another but using Thailand as a conduit, must be step one in a series of moves that could virtually eradicate the now prolific trade. It's unlikely, though, that the same methods as those used in the taxing era will be applied, as back then in 2003, many deaths were attributed to crackdowns. Rumours that the former Prime Minister Taksin Shinawat will leave his hospital suit for freedom anytime soon seem to be slightly exaggerated, as the Department of Corrections tells us that the earliest that he can file for parole is next February. Still hospitalised due to a list of ailments, he could be offered parole earlier but can't himself apply for it. Thai citizens earning income abroad, said to be exploiting certain tax loopholes here, must pay income tax in Thailand on any income derived from outside as at the start of next year. This is not a new law, but it will be the full application of existing tax laws, which appear in some cases to have been overlooked, and in other cases loopholes found that allowed tax avoidance. Section 41 of the Thai tax code applies to funds earned overseas and brought into Thailand. With some questioning the risk of double taxation abroad and here, it's worth noting that America, for example, expects tax from its nationals on earnings anywhere in the world, whether or not they're US residents. In this case, the issue is not the same. As were a Thai to be living abroad, then the income is not taxable here. But were they to earn abroad and bring the funds into Thailand, then, according to the tax codes, taxes can be applied. As news of a debt moratorium was issued by the new government, applying to loans held by farmers and small businesses, so the question's been raised as to will interest continue to be applied to those loans during what's effectively a payment holiday. Nevertheless, the respite from payments is welcomed by farmers who need to be able to buy seed and feed for their lands. Better, though, is a plan to educate farmers on effective agricultural management, which will assist any who've simply adapted the passed-on techniques of their forefathers, which often can be improved on. The payment holiday is for loans up to 1 million baht and will extend over a three-year period. Yet another family fallout escalated into a spousal shooting this week, seeing an Ayutthaya wife telling her husband that she was leaving him after he lost their savings on Bitcoin. In reply, he shot her. Then, believing her to be demised, he holed himself up in their home as police surrounded it. A six-hour standoff finally led to him handing himself over. The wife, we're told, is in full recovery. And a total lack of safety barriers along the stretch of road repairs on the Sukhumvit has been blamed by many for the death Monday morning of a local Thai lady. The accident at dawn saw her bike collide with a school bus, but as she lost control, so it ended up in the foot-deep ditch dug by road workers and with rebar sticking out. Numerous roadworks remain with poor or non-existent lighting in the area, and drivers are warned to take extra care on all local roads. No word on which party caused the accident, however, the outcome, sadly, was the report that the lady had passed away. Despite the recent rains, the good news appears to be that local residents and businesses are reporting less flooding and water damage than ever before in the city region. A lot of this has been put down to new drainage, 
but even more credit is given to the management of the water once it's hit the drains. And with the Met Office promising highs of 32 today, dropping down to 26. A cloudy morning with thunderstorms in spots throughout the day, but with some sunshine in the afternoon too, and the real feel of 35. Local and national news today from Fabulous 103 FM and Fabulous Patia Media Group. And to get a notification every time we release another bulletin or programme, like and subscribe to our channel, Fabulous Patia Media Group, by using the link below.